Hello students, let's move forward towards another Tildo fight. Today we are going to learn about the phylum Spinophyta, in which the best known example is of equisetum plant and it is also referred as or also called as horse tails because of these type of branches at nodes. Okay, and such branching gives appearance of a horse tail. This is called horse tails. Okay, ye second evolved phylum hai amongst pteridophytes. Pteridophytes, the vascular cryptogams, which we have already seen. Okay, now the best known and the only known genus amongst phylum Spinophyta is. ओके इसका मतलब इसके अंदर की जो बाकी जीना है जीनस है वो अब ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स ऑफ योर रोशन क्लियर दे गेट एक्सटिंग्विश सो वॉट इज लेफ्ट बैंड इज इक्विसेट ओके द ओनली हॉस्टेल जीनस इन एक्सिस्टेंस एंड दे ग्रो इन वेस्ट एंड वेट प्लेसेस ओके सो इट्स क्वाइट यूजफुल टू प्लान सच प्लान ओके At waste places where there is a waste, so they can grow well. They they have rhizome with aerial stem up to one point three meter. Rhizome means underground stem, and is underground stem me the aerial stem I have up to one point three meter that grows up there, and other than that, of course, root hairs are there. So you can see this one is a rhizome, okay, and this is the aerial. Stay almost 1.3 meter, okay, and uh, of course one fully grown plant is 1.3 meter, and root hairs are there from the rhizome. So actually fixation का काम rhizome करेगा, and root hairs will help in absorption. Then aerial stem with many branches. So this is the aerial stem which has many branches. These are not the leaves, okay? These are the branches, okay? Now this is one one of such a plant in which the stem is divided into nodes and internodes so you can see these are the nodes okay and the distance between two successive nodes is internode so you can see these are the nodes and this distance is what internode clear and ab isme agar hum log ek important characteristic dekhe from nodes the branches arise okay but after one node another node is there on this small reduced leaves microfilms are present okay to ab ab tak hum log ne dekha ki during the course of evolution microfilms are developed correct but in equisetum one point which we must note is actually these microfilms are developed from megafilms matlab is plant ne pehle megafilm develop kar liya tha but after that they again go back and the megafilms reduce their size to form microfilms which are a little bit scaly okay and that's why protection can also be the another function okay then one of slender and green side branches at the joints that is nodes look like hostel and just now which we have seen that's why the plants are called hostels small scale like leaves are there okay so there are small scale like leaves okay which can be observed and these are there that is microfilms okay which are formed by reduction of megafilms stem is tough rigid so the stem is tough and rigid because of silica deposition in cell wall so actually in their cell wall silica deposition takes place because of that the stems are quite tough okay they The stems are green. That's why they can show photosynthesis, but they are hollow from inside. Okay, so they are though they are tough, but they are hollow like the bamboo plant. Okay, now you can see sporophylla is present at the tip. What is sporophylla? It's a group of sporophylls. Sporophylls are modified leaves, which are modified specially for reproduction, specially for spore production. Okay, and On the surface of sporophylls, sporangia.
sporangia are present okay and sporangia open by lateral lesions not by apical lesions okay so they open like lateral lesions clear now all the spores which are released are homospores means all the spores are same but you can see one thing that the spores has elaters elaters flagella like extensions and every spore on an average will have four elaters okay you can see four elaters are there what is the speciality of these elaters they are moisture sensitive okay so elaters are there which are moisture sensitive and that's why they will always get attracted towards moisture they will always carry that spore towards moisture and whenever they will fall clear definitely that place must be wet moist so this will help in proper germination other than that the spores will germinate okay into inconspicuous inconspicuous is highly reduced not a very well developed okay inconspicuous and independent gametophyte so the gametophyte is independent the gametophyte will not be dependent on the sporophyte for germination okay but in equisetum genus it has been seen that the male gametophyte is different than female gametophyte so actually gametophyte plant is spore which is independent but you have two gametophyte male and female look at the life cycle okay just now we have seen strobilus is there okay nodes and internodes are there and aerial branches are there microfills are there correct rhizome and root hairs correct other than that this strobilus is a group of sporophyll okay and these sporophylls okay are uh, they have sporangia on their surface and of course sporangia means spore mother cell and of course because this complete plant is diploid okay the result of this is the spore mother cell is also diploid but it will undergo meiosis to form haploid spore and once meiosis will take place gametophyte generation will start other than that these spores will germinate because they have elaters and they will get move towards always towards the moisture and they will germinate to form independent gametophyte correct this is a male prothallus and this is a female prothallus prothallus because it's an undifferentiated thallus okay they neither have root stem or leaves correct and you can see they have rhizoids and other than that in this undifferentiated thallus okay will be formed anthridia on the male prothallus and of course you will form on the female prothallus you will form archegonia ab yahan pe thoda sa ek cheez yaad rakhni hai ke male और फीमेल इनमें से कौन सा प्लांट स्पोर्स बनाएंगे ये फिक्स नहीं रहता दैट डिपेंड ऑन के स्पोर्स जर्मिनेट जो हो रहे उस वक्त एनवायरमेंट कैसा है सो दैट एनवायरमेंट इज गोइंग टू डिसाइड वेदर द स्पोर्स विल जर्मिनेट टू फॉर मेल प्लांट और द स्पोर्स विल जर्मिनेट टू फॉर फीमेल प्लांट मींस मेल प्रोथेलस और फीमेल प्रोथेलस एंड अदर देन दैट इट इज आल्सो सीन मेनी टाइम्स व्हेन द स्पोर्स आर स्मॉलर इन साइज दे डेवलप इनटू मेल प्रोथेलस but if bigger spores are there they develop generally into female prothallus means this is actually environmental sex determination okay then other than that the male prothallus and female prothallus both are haploid the reason is very simple they are simply formed by haploid spores and the spores haploid spores will germinate to form male prothallus which is also haploid and the female prothallus which is also haploid now anthridia are developed on the male prothallus and the of course because the whole plant is haploid by mitosis only the spores are formed that is male gametes are formed but these are biflagellated flagella means swimming means water must be essential for fertilization so during heavy rain because these are quite smaller in size due to heavy rain clear definitely water clear will be lost in that particular area releasing the sperms outside they will swim and they will try to move towards the archegonia now one of the very important point here which we must note is most of the time it has been observed that chemotaxis takes place and for this chemotaxis 
in the archegonia you can see in this archegonia region okay uh, i have shown some more cells actually this lower most is the egg cell this one and other than that some vegetative cells are there okay so the lower most is the egg cell and some vegetative cells are there so during heavy rain jab yahan pe pani bhar jayega to these vegetative cells will burst and that's why the matter which is present inside the vegetative cells will get dispersed and this will attract the sperms <clears throat> towards the egg and because of that the sperms will fuse with the egg to form zygote matlab water is essential okay so fertilization will take place and this phenomenon in which the sperms are attracted is chemodiaxis okay and most of the species in the equisitum genum are observed that they have they have they have shown the phenomenon of chemodiaxis that now zygote is there <clears throat> zygote is formed means diploid is cell is formed diploid cell formation is a is a starting of sporophyte generation once diploid is formed correct and that's why zygote yahi pe germinate hota tha okay and the zygote will germinate to form a sporophyte plant the sporophyte plant matlab kya ho jayega wo wo ho jayega diploid lekin ye diploid sporophyte During its early stages of development is dependent on gametophyte. You get gametophyte से nourishment absorb करेगा. ये 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 जो sperms है वो यहाँ जाके यहाँ पे इसके ऊपर grow हो रहे हैं. Okay? And that's why they will initially absorb nourishment from the female prothallus. Okay? So this is how sporophyte will develop on gametophyte. Correct? And this sporophyte will later on develop into such a sporophyte plant of equisitum, which is quite big enough and that's why sporophyte is said to be dominant in case of equisitum okay now this is the alternation of generation and you can see from spore formation to spore mother sorry uh, zygote formation to spore mother cell formation it is the diploid sporophyte condition is maintained but after that the haploid gametophyte generation is there okay and the point which we must notice both the gametophytes male and female prothallus are different so This is about what the phylum equisitum, okay, and also called horse tail. That is phylum spinophyta. Thank you.